This week is the 48th annual March for Life. It's an event where thousands of Americans come together to advocate for the value and protection of unborn human life. They'll be coming together this year differently than they have for almost 50 years, but for almost 50 years, millions of people uh, have marched to Capitol Hill to try to build a culture where every human life is valued and every human life is protected. That includes tireless women and men and children from my home state of Missouri who come to Washington both individually and along the Missouri Life Caravan every year. It'll be the first year in a long time I haven't spoken to that group in person, uh, but as they meet virtually, their cause uh, is still as resonant as it is in person. Um, I know that Missourians will continue to advocate uh, for life. They'll continue to remember the unborn and those who we've lost from abortion. This year's theme of the march is Together Strong, Life Unites. That's a pretty hard theme to argue with no matter how you feel about this particular topic. Unity doesn't mean believing the same thing about everything. But it does mean agreeing about one very important thing in terms of this event, and that important thing, of course, is the value and protection of life. Uh, this belief, this belief in life cuts across religion, cuts across party lines, cuts across geographic uh, boundaries. People and organizations from all religious backgrounds, and even those uh, who have no religious affiliation, are part of the pro-life movement uh, and they oppose abortion in almost all cases. Uh, polling shows that more than a third of Democrats in America support protections for life, and there are groups dedicated to showing that pro-life is not a partisan issue, and frankly, that's a move in the right direction to where you don't feel like you're included in one party or excluded from one party because of your view on this issue. Last year's uh, Geneva Consensus Declaration brought together more than 30 countries to promote women's health and strengthen the family, including the preservation of human life. We need to do everything we can to save the lives of babies and of mothers. Maternal mortality is a big problem in our country and around the world. Uh, it's become a focus of the Congress in recent years and needs to continue to be. Even though the issue of life uh, so often is polarized in the United States Congress, I'm still encouraged by the ways that um, we see a powerful commitment over and over uh, to protecting the unborn and how that breaks through uh, in other areas outside of the Congress. For the past four years, we've seen an unprecedented advance in the protections for the unborn in state legislatures. Uh, in the next few years, we can expect to see efforts to try to move things in another direction, to weaken or remove life protections in, for instance, the Title X family planning program or in our foreign aid programs. There's a well-funded effort to abandon even the long-standing Hyde Amendment, which prevents taxpayer funding uh, of abortion or abortion coverage of federal health care programs. As the chairman of the Labor, Health, and Human Services Appropriations Committee, I oversaw the yearly renewal of the Hyde Amendment, which is included in that bill for the past 40 years. Now, I won't be the chairman of that committee in this Congress, but I'll still be fighting to see that we reach this, maintain this area where there's been great consensus that went beyond political parties. I'll continue to support and advocate for the Hyde Amendment and the permanent federal protections for the unborn through legislations like the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act and the No Taxpayer Funding for Abortion Act, among other things. Though the pro-life movement uh, can expect challenges in this Congress, there are still many signs that one day we'll succeed in creating a culture where every human life is valued and protected. Uh, for now, however, I want to thank the men, women, and children who will dedicate their time and talents to making this happen, to, who today are marching virtually uh, as they join together uh, to talk about this important cause and remember the theme of this year, which is Together Strong, Life Unites.